In this video, I'll cover the microphone or speech amplifier part of the transmitter. Um, so just to uh, kind of remind you where that belongs on the block diagram, it's right up the front here, uh, prior to the audio phase shift component. So this component's primary responsibility is to take uh, an audio signal, turn it into an electrical signal, uh, do some amplification and filtering, and then it, get, it passes that signal onto the audio phase shift network. So on this, just moving over to the schematic itself, you can see those components there. So we have the electret microphone up front, the component that turns the audio signals into an electrical signal. I'll include a link to a, uh, an article on the electret microphone itself, uh, how you need to set it up and so on. Uh, but essentially what you have to do is bias it with a uh, voltage here. Uh, there's a FET inside here which uh, uh, converts that audio signal to an electrical signal. That's followed up with a, a decoupling cap here to remove that uh, DC bias and it passes on to the first stage op amp here which is configured in, in a uh, non-inverting fashion. Um, and then we have a 10K resistor here and a 470 ohm uh, resistor here that sets up the gain of the circuit. After that it passes through uh, this low pass filter. And this low pass filter is uh, configured uh, for 470 ohms on, for input and output impedance. And uh, it roughly cuts off signals after about 3.5 uh, to 4 kilohertz. Then the signal for passes through uh, the, the second half of the op amp. And this is just configured as a buffer. There's not much gain here. And then finally uh, it, it, it gets uh, output to the, uh, to the audio jack. So here's that circuit on the, uh, on the board here, and you can see here these two big uh, components, that, they're the inductors, uh, these two induct 33 millihenry inductors here. So this part is the filter, here's the op amp, both stages of the op amp here, so it goes out through this stage and then back in through this stage and then finally out through here. Now what I've uh, got uh, here is not the electret microphone, but just a uh, capacitor, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this circuit on, the, uh, on my uh, uh, oscilloscope's uh, Bode plot function so we can actually see what's going on there uh, as a Bode plot. So that's coming up next. So I thought I'd use this circuit uh, and... Uh, uh, test out the uh, Bode plot function on my uh, on my oscilloscope. I haven't had much chance to use it, so I thought this would be a good uh, uh, a, a good example to play around with. Um, so setting up the um, uh, the Bode plot function uh, for at least for a signal scope is is pretty straightforward. Um, the setup I have as I have a, I do have a signal uh, signal generator a 1032x, and the scope is a uh, 1204x. And so, uh, in that configuration, these two guys can talk to each other through, through a USB. So the scope basically instructs the signal generator what, uh, uh, what uh, frequency and what uh, peak peak voltage to output. So the setup's pretty straightforward. You connect the scope and the signal generator together by a, a standard USB cord. Then uh, channel one of the signal generator goes to the input on the circuit. So that's going to be right here. Channel one of the scope probes that same signal. Uh, so obviously with the, with the Bode plot, it's a plot of uh, VN, uh, V out over VN over frequency. Uh, so this kind of sets your reference here. And then channel two of the scope is configured to look at the output of the, of the circuit. Now, obviously, uh, this particular scope has four channels, so you can actually configure multiple, uh, multiple uh, output probes on the scope. But I'll, I'll just be using the, the simple input and output here. Okay, so here's the uh, Bode plot setup um, that I've got going here. So uh, just to pan up, uh, there's my uh, signal generator there. The uh, channel one output is coming in all the way through and being presented right here. As I said, this uh, cap is just temporary to decouple the, the bias voltage that appears at the electric microphone from, from any of the inputs or outputs. And then on the output uh, side, there's, there's two uh, channels from the scope that are involved here. So channel one is probing right here on the input. 
and channel two is probing at the output of the of the circuit itself. So if we just pan over there, here's channel, here's my other scope channel right here. So let's just pan up to the oscilloscope to see the uh, setup here and, and you'll see that I've actually already done a, a couple of plots already. So uh, bear with me while I, I zoom on that. So, so in terms of the scope setup itself, the, uh, the Bode plot menu appears on uh, utility. So if you click on utility, uh, let's get out of this Bode plot menu. So we start with utility. Uh, and then you'll see it's uh, on page two, Bode plot two. And then in that, uh, there's a number of things that you that you need to configure. So you go into the config menu, and then the first thing you want to configure is your channels. So basically, we you can see here I have uh, device under test inputs coming into channel one. Device under test output is going to channel two of the scope. And you can see here this is a four channel scope. You can actually have multiple. Uh, pr probing multiple output channels, but I'm just using channel one and channel two. And then finally, uh, channel gain set to auto. And then the other thing you want to go into is the sweep menu itself. So go into set sweep. And this is where you set up uh, what, uh, <clears throat> what mode, uh, it's, it's decade mode or uh, linear. Um, and then the start and stop frequencies. And then finally, the number of points you want to plot per decade. So basically when you finish doing that, you go back to the original menu and then you just click on the run menu and it'll go off. It'll start doing its, uh, doing its stuff. Uh, and depending on how many points you have uh, specified per decade, um, yeah, will will determine how, how quickly it goes. And so you can see here, there's two things that it's plotting here, and you can choose either of, to plot either of these. It plots the phase of the output versus the input, and uh, it plots the uh, the amplitude of the output again compared to the input. So this is the amplitude, and then this is the phase. So left hand, the right hand side is uh, kind of the phase uh, y-axis, and this is in dBs the uh, the amplitude. And you can see here as it's uh, as it's actually as it's actually doing the plot, you can see on the signal generator, it's instructing the signal generator to to move, to sweep through that frequency range that you've uh, that you specified. Let's just move back to the plot and see where we're up to. Uh, and what you'll see, excuse the cable in the way, it's always in the way. That cable, my apologies. Um, so you can see here. Here's that low pass filter signature uh, very clearly uh, outlined um, from, from the, the microphone amplifier. Uh, and that's just what we want. Um, the actual original circuit did have a uh, high pass filter in it too, high pass filter that basically would uh, uh, weed out um, any audio signals less than about 150 hertz. Uh, but I didn't include that in here. I actually didn't have any uh, uh, I didn't have any inductors of the right uh, the right inductance. Um, it, it specified a 120 millihenry inductor. The biggest I have is uh, uh, 33 millihenry. Now I certainly could uh, put a, a, a increase the capacitor to uh, compensate for that, but uh, I might do that a bit later. So that's the Bode plot functionality. It, it'll just keep doing this forever until you uh, in, until you stop it. Um, so kind of nice, neat little feature of the of the signal scope um, and uh, you know it, it gives you that visual representation of what the uh, you know, what the behavior of the of the circuit is so anyway what I'll move on to next is I'll get rid of that cap from the um, from the circuit replace it with the electret microphone and then we can do some uh, testing with the electret microphone in place okay so here's the uh, electret microphone in place here on the circuit um, that cap's gone uh, just one thing to remen remember, uh, electret microphones are indeed polarized. Um, so you, you have to figure out which ones are positive, which ones are negative. Uh, sometimes they're not marked. So if it's not marked, the, the uh, connection here that connects to the case will be the negative. The other one will be the positive. So anyway, uh, just the test setup here. Uh, I've got my um, signal generator. Um, and I'm basically just... Uh, 
sending the output of the signal generator into the speaker here to give, give me a nice uh, clean tone. So let's turn the volume of the speaker up. And let's pan over to the oscilloscope, which I've got uh, uh, looking at the output there. And you can see uh, that's moving around as I'm speaking. So I'll shut up and uh, I'll increase the volume. We'll see what happens. So as the signal becomes louder, uh, the uh, corresponding output of the amplifier increases also. So similarly, if I increase the frequency, and then you can see that roll off happening as I increase the frequency. I'm up to uh, five kilohertz now, and uh, that frequency is, uh, is rolling off there. So as I go up even higher, you can see it's uh, greatly attenuated. So that's the um, so that's the uh, the uh, microphone amplifier complete. Uh, you can sort of see for yourself if I whistle into it, it's obviously responding to my uh, you know, to my voice. Anyway, so that's the um, microphone. Uh, that's the microphone amplifier complete. Um, what I'll move on to uh, probably next is hooking up the uh, microphone amplifier through to the um, phase shifter. I'll get that phase shifter and the double balance mixer probably on the same board, so that's going to be easier to uh, that's going to be easier to see there. So that'll involve a new circuit. I'll have to spin a new board for that. Uh, and then, um, you know, obviously after that, we're going to have to do some final amplification to the signal if we hope to, hope to send it somewhere. So, uh, lots more to come. I think I'm up to uh, part 11 or part 12 in this series. Uh, uh, I hope you're still finding it interesting um, and uh, more to come.